Hey everyone, we're going to find the Taylor series for f of x equals sine of x centered at uh, a equal pi divided by 2. So we're going to write it in this form and then we're also going to find the radius of convergence. So let's look, um, we need to get some derivatives out. So let's try for um, n equals 0. We have f of pi divided by 2. That's going to be your sine of x evaluated at x equals pi divided by 2. And that's going to equal 1. All right, and then for 1, we have f prime of pi divided by 2, our derivative. That equals cosine of x. Evaluating that at x equals pi divided by 2. That equals 0. And for 2, we have f double prime of pi divided by 2 for our second derivative. That gives us negative sine of x. Evaluated at x equals pi divided by 2. And that equals negative 1. All right, let's do 3. f triple prime of uh, pi divided by 2 equals negative cosine of x. Evaluated at x equals pi divided by 2. That equals 0. And then we're going to have uh, 4 is your uh, fourth derivative at pi divided by 2, which is sine of x at x equal pi divided by 2, and that equals 1. And then it starts repeating. So basically, if I use this uh, form here, we have f of x equals sine of x, uh, which is going to equal the sum of k equals 0 to infinity of f of k of pi divided by 2 divided by k factorial of x minus pi divided by 2 to the power of k. So given that, we're going to expand this and write this out. So writing it out, we're going to get, um, and what I'm going to do when I write it out, I'm going to skip the zeros. So I'm only going to do uh, this one, this one, and this one here. So that's going to give me uh, 1 minus x minus pi divided by 2 squared divided by 2 factorial. And then plus, and I remember I'm skipping the zero ones, x minus pi divided by 2 to the fourth power divided by 4 factorial. And then the next one would actually be a minus. And that's going to be x minus pi divided by 2 to the 6th power divided by 6 factorial. Uh, plus dot dot dot. Now writing this as a sum, we're going to get the sum. n equals 0 to infinity. We have alternating signs. And then we just have uh, x minus pi divided by 2. And since we're going by even powers here, that's to the power of 2n. Now also our factorials are even, so that's going to be 2n factorial. Now let's do our radius of convergence using the uh, ratio test. So we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n. I'm going to go ahead and very quickly rewrite what we had uh, in case you didn't write it down. So I'll just write it here. I'll go as fast as I can. All right, this is what we had. All right, so for this, we're going to write this as the limit as n approaches infinity. And then we're going to substitute in um, uh, n plus 1 for our n's here. So we're going to get uh, x. Well, let's just put the absolute value here. Let's write it this way. 
because we only do have to do absolute value on the x part. So we're going to get um, absolute value of x minus pi divided by 2 to the power of 2n plus 2 divided by 2n plus 2 factorial. Now times um, a sub n, which is uh, when we're going to, it's supposed to be divided, but when you multiply, you just multiply by the reciprocal. So that's going to be 2n factorial divided by absolute value of x minus pi divided by 2 to the power of 2n. All right. Now, uh, from here, we can simplify this as the limit as n approaches infinity. Now, for this part, if you simplify this, um, the two n's will cancel out. So we'll just get absolute value of x minus pi divided by 2 squared. And now for our denominator, let's look at that. We have 2n factorial, and this can be written as 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1. When you keep subtracting 1, you're going to get 2n, and here I can write factorial. And so these cancel out. So in the denominator, we're just going to get 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1. Now, this equals 0, which is less than 1 for all x. And so that means our radius of convergence is infinity. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.